Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and I got something kind of nerdy to unbox and um, I got something more tactically <laughs> to show you as well. Um, I didn't unbox that particular thing because it required some assembly and I'll explain why I didn't unbox it. Um, but I think for those of you who are more tactically inclined and like those types of videos, I think you'll kind of appreciate what I did here. But um, I got this box and uh, I've been waiting for this box for a while now and uh, in the process of scraping off my address with my uh, newest Spiral Co, I kind of cut it open. I didn't open it. I haven't unboxed it yet. It's still connected right there so there's still some action to be had but uh, yeah I kind of basically opened it. Um, by the way, this is the Spiral Co. Subway buoy. I've had this for a while now, but I left it at the coast, and uh, I went to the coast during my winter break, just a day trip, to pick this up and check on the property, and I brought it back, and I've used it quite, quite a bit since then, and I'm about ready for a review of it. Um, now some of you could probably guess what this is. Any, any time I say I have a nerdy unboxing, that's code word for Tolkien, Middle Earth, um, Lord of the Rings, Samarillion, so on and so forth. And, um, huh. got a, uh, jack of, uh, uh, spades. And this is the advertisement and a shout out to the next series, The Two Towers, which I'm definitely interested in. Um, definitely want to get the whole series of Deck of Cards, but why is this one any different than this one? This is the Standard Fellowship of the Rings deck, and um, this is a different Fellowship of the Rings deck, and I got a third Fellowship of the Rings deck, uh, or Fellowship of the Ring um, in my Matham case. And for those of you who don't know what a Matham is, well, I suggest you read the appendix to uh, Lord of the Rings or the uh, uh, Return of the King. Uh, and I don't want to damage the box, but, um, you know, after I open this up and show it to you, I'll tell you my thoughts of the Fellowship of the Ring, Lord of the Rings deck by Kings Wild. Um, seems pretty similar. Of course, I know what's up because I backed the project and this is not wanting to open. I don't want to damage the box, which is probably going to end up happening. Um, No, no, don't damage the box. And these are premium playing cards. You can see it's a little bit shiny in there. Uh, look at that. Wow. These are beautiful. Um, this is the same deck as these right here, except these are gilded. And gilded means gold color. <laughs> So that's pretty much the big difference. These are shiny on the edges and um, those are your two um, Joker cards. You got the um, Balrog of Morgoth and he doesn't appear to have wings. Some of y'all would be interested in that. Uh, and then we got Bilbo. And then you got the standard deck. Um, just slightly different coloration and um, I wonder uh, let's see these are the spades king queen that's uh, jack right there so that's something that's good because you can't play cards with a, a card that has a different back 
so that's good to know um, but you got the full house of um, um, characters from Lord of the Rings and you also got um, uh, Luthien, I think, in here uh, from Baron and Luthien, which is cool. And these are just very shiny premium cards. And they're just to show you. That's the standard deck. And then I got the Kickstarter edition over there. And um, yeah, I love these. I'm a big Lord of the Rings, um, Middle Earth, you know, Tolkien fan. Uh, these in this red box is probably going to be my playing set, you know, if I play cards or I'm kind of interested in cardistry or card flourishing. So this will be kind of my user and abuser deck. And the other deck of cards, which I'm not going to get from my Mathem case, uh, it's um, the Kickstarter edition. And it's green, um, kind of like this, but it has like a spine. It's uh, made to look like a book. And this is my biggest complaint of this series, is that they missed a perfect opportunity. Because they often, I got um, three different uh, lit literature decks of cards. I got Robin Hood, Beowulf, and uh, Lord, of the, or Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings. And usually when they do a deck that's based on literature, they make one with a box that looks like a book. And it has a spine and it looks like a book. They have missed the opportunity to make the book red. For those of you who don't know, Bilbo Baggins, he writes um, uh, Hobbits. Uh, he wrote uh, The Hobbit. Uh, there and back again, and then he gives that uh, memoir, or that diary, to Frodo, who wrote, who writes Lord of the Rings, um, and then he gives that book, that red book, to uh, uh, Sam to finish after um, Frodo goes to the uh, uh, to the West, to the Undying Lands, and I know this is getting very nerdy, <laughs> uh, but. Um, the Lord of the Rings Hobbit is supposed to be kind of like a diary or a memoir of the of the Hobbits and what they did um, in the Third Age. And that book is the Red Book. <laughs> so they should have made the actual book deck of cards, the deck of cards that looks like a book, they should have made it red. And um, um, that to me that was a missed opportunity. So, um, you know, like I said, and, you know, to be fair, they're trying to come out with the whole um, series, you know, uh, Fellowship, Two Towers, and um, Return of the King. So they have more opportunities to do it, but I just think that the book case deck of cards, should, or the book bound deck of cards that look like a book, should be read. And that's not a huge issue, it's just my little hill that I'm willing to die on. Um, and like the tuck and stuff, this is uh, printed out to look like a map of Middle Earth. And, um, and again, the fancy deck of cards is gilded. Now, for those of you who, are, who do not care about hobbits and the, thir and the whole Middle Earth... Um, um, universe I got something cool to show you because I got something else in the mail and this is going to be much more to my channel it's not going to be so much nerdy and uh, and so what I got and I can't show you the um, the unboxing of it because frankly I'm just unboxing screws but why would unboxing screws be cool Ta -da -da -da. Um, I got, I, I have this optic, and I'm now able to mount it on my 5.7, uh, Smith & Wesson MP5.7, and, uh, what was wrong was this optic was on my Hellcat, and the screws that attach this optic to my Hellcat did not fit the, um, 5.7, uh, 
and the screws that attach the base plate or the base plate, plate optic cover did not fit the um, optic. It wouldn't transverse the optic into the and screw it into the frame. So I did a little bit of searching online and I found out that you kind of have to, unless I, um, I misplaced the original screws that came with the box of this optic, but you kind of have to get special screws to mount this shield um, optic. It's a SMSC optic. And by the way, it's unloaded. Um, you have to get special screws to attach this optic to the um, gun. And the optic is not sighted in. Um, you can kind of see that red dot. It's not sighted in, so um, I'm still reliant on the... Um, see if I can get you a picture. I'm still reliant on the um, um, iron sights, and they do kind of co-witness. It's not as clear of a uh, lineup as um, without the optic being on there. It takes up a little bit of space, but it, they still kind of co-witness. And um, yeah, so I now got an optic on my 5.7. And uh, also, I got a Kydex Hostel coming for this. And that's very important for this gun. And I'll talk about that when I get it. In fact, I don't know if I should talk about it when I get the holster. I should probably talk about it when I do the review on this gun. But to me, Kydex is absolutely necessary for this gun. And so far, um, I got a sticky holster. Um, if I want to carry this. But I've been having issues with... Uh, holsters with this gun and uh, I need to talk about that and um, so anyways I got some cool ammunition coming for this I got a holster coming for this and when I run about one or two more boxes of ammunition through it I'm gonna give my review and um, I don't know if I should talk about things before I actually give the tabletop of this so that's it that's the video I got a gilded deck of cards. I got my kind of workhorse deck of cards, and I got my um, uh, Kickstarter uh, limited edition deck of cards that's in my Matham case. And I'm really interested in getting the full series. And if I do get the full series, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to show it to you. And so the uh, Fellowship has Luthien in it. I'm expecting Twin Terrors to have Baron in it. And I don't know what um, uh, uh, Return of the King. Return of the King might have for Narfin or something. So uh, that's it. That's the video. I'm a Satsu 5 and I'm out.